Generic greetings and welcome back to Gunsmith. In the previous episode, we didn't make any guns at all, so it is factually incorrect, so we should rename the game to Glovesmith. So previously in Glovesmith, we managed to make some gloves, as you can see in the... Uh, actually, it would be in career statistics, was it? No, uh, well, yes, yeah, I guess it's accurate at this point. Uh, so items manufactured, 2,650 items, but that doesn't mean end product, just means items in general. Items delivered, 500. We've delivered 500 pairs of combat gloves. We also have an order for another 220 and we've got 140. So we've produced 640 pairs of gloves. Go us. We also start to do some research. As you can see, we've got the floor splitter, which allows us to split the flow of things, which makes it more efficient. Hence why this is like it is. Maintenance on that machine would be a nightmare, by the way. Crawling into there to work on it? Yeah, there's going to be some horrible industrial accident happening right there. Anyway, we also managed to get a zipper, and we are now... Um, well, we were working on the uh, combat apparel tier 1, and we've now got that, so we will be producing that as we uh, go through. We've also got different belts, so belts up, belts down, different tiers and shakers and stuff. For the bullet production license... Do you want to do that now? Uh We'll need things like... Oh, well, you need all sorts of stuff for that. Waste shaker. Yeah, so we're going to have to go up the belts anyway at some point. I'll go up this... I'll start working on this belt. We've got 61 research points, so... And we're generating a small amount per day. We're only using... We're only... Um, we're only spending 1,032 generic units of currency a day. Apart from the... 2000 we just spent there where'd that come from um oh from research right this is the factory and then it also on research as well oh darn uh let's accept that i'll f fulfill that task there let's give us four grand so basically we're not actually making enough to keep the factory open which was my problem in the first place that's not good let's accept a job for jerry because we are on good terms with jerry and also now work on our our other production line. Now, this guy's asking for camo vests, and that might be good to produce. Do you want to produce camo vests? I don't know. I don't know. Um, gloves we're, still, we're always going to have to produce. That's always useful, but camo vest. Let's have a quick look what the cookbook says. So, camo vest, you can see there's loads of different items in here. Um, I haven't went through as a proper tutorial what all these do, because that's what my preview was for. But, uh, these symbols here represent um there's three different symbols you've red which is your base product you've got yellow which is an intermediary product something you will make in the factory but isn't a final thing and then green is actually final so combat boots we've got camo vest combat trousers combat backpack so camo vest will require plastic block heat level one there you go uh fabric sheet fabric uh cutting fabric vest and then zipping and then combining so actually this would be identical to this apart from instead of cutting gloves and yeah, instead of cutting gloves we are cutting a vest and we're zipping it so we'll make that again and we'll make it in the center here or do i want to make it down here i could make it down here dispense from this line and work around I could, but also, if I made this more streamlined, I'd have another section here, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So, how am I going to shrink this down? Um, I will, I will for a start, turn the entire line off using the line control. So, I will power off the entire machine, and it should, yes, it should continue going until everything's off the line. I believe nothing else has been dispensed. That's good. Okay, so that can go there. That can go there. That can go there. And that can go there. That shrunk it right down. Although it doesn't really sit that well with me. I prefer that because it'll, it'll just look a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Um, that's it. Um, turn it back on. Let me just make sure that that's all correct. Yeah, it's outputting exactly what it needs to. So that's fine, that's working. And we've saved ourselves a belt, which we can put with the other belts that we have there. We're going to bring over the heater. We're going to bring over the uh, 
dispenser and this is where we'll have our output so we'll put it in uh, there for now so yeah this is all self-contained and then we'll have this one as well and then again we'll work our way back over although because we know that we'll probably have it off center we'll probably put that about there and then it's again copying the same sort of line although it's not totally in the middle and i know that will bug some people i think that's about right yes it is okay right so we're going to copy roughly what we've got here um after we go to um our orders and uh, get that fulfilled available orders again we've got combat vests uh, we've got a combat backpack. This is for Michi. Oh, this one, look at this one. Another one for Michi. Camo vest, combat trousers, and camo gloves. Can't do either of those. I think we want to go for something a bit simpler. Michi from the Big Stray. Yeah, they want. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know what Australia's gearing up to do, but one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six orders. Wow! Okay, um, <laughs> Flabaliki's on the move then. <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Um, we need to get probably combat backpack is the way forward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I need a hundred of them. Okay, let's let's work on the combat backpack. So we want a boxing machine. We have a boxing machine, and not a boxing machine like you know. Um, a, a, a kangaroo with boxing gloves on it, because that's generally that's a boxing machine. Another Australian reference in there. Um, <laughs> okay, so we need that there, and we want. Oh, actually, mark it while we're while we're on while we're on fabric sheet. Uh, we do want to buy another ten thousand of those. Sorry, thousand of those. Another. Mm, we're not going to buy any more plastic blocks. We don't need that. So there's our boxing machine. We're going to open up the cookbook once more. We're going to go for a... Was it a, f uh, a combat backpack? Yes, the combat backpack. So working back over for reasons unbeknownst to me and you. Uh, we want to make the combat backpack. So it is end of line, end of line. Sewing machine. Uh, yes, we'll go for a sewer. It needs to be sewing level 2. So um, I'll probably put it as 1 and then 2, like so. And then we need to have a merger, but we're going to have two mergers. So we will have it as a, where is it? Merging, merger, and one, and then two. And those are the wrong way around, because reasons. Uh, that can go there, and that can go in there. I, mean, I could technically put them in a slightly different way, but to make it a bit more compact. But I'm, like I say, I'm just following roughly that, that sort of idea there. So that should be fine. I'm, oh, hang on. I was going to say, why is that a bit wider? That's correct now. That's fine. Um, so, we want... Oh, is that an upper? Why is that shorter? Have I altered the size of it? I think I might have done. Uh, you can... Um, oh, no, a belt one meter. It's just a belt one meter. That's all it is. Right. So, in and in. And now we're going to have to start buying the belts now. <gasps> buying the belts? Heresy. There we go. Um, probably demolish that. Don't want that. Don't want it. So, merging, yes. So, plastic fitting, same setup as that. So, heating level one, yes. Forming, forming machine one. Three dispensers. Are there any dispensers lying around? Could be one over there. Not going to check. Miles away. So. Um, the forming one. Not going to be overly difficult to make, I don't think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on this scent a bit. But we'll probably make it a line, though. So we'll put our... We'll put our... Um, our splitter in. Just double check that. That is correct, yes. And we know that the splitter is a former... Heating and dispenser. So the dispenser, one, two, three. That can go under there. So that'll produce what we need there. And this doesn't seem right. Something seems wrong. No, it is correct. It's just the way I've lined it up. Okay. So we now need to do the fabric sheets either side. So fabric sheets will be dispenser, 
cutting and zipping. So again, working back, zipping. You may ask why I work back, and that's because... I don't know. I'm trying to think of the reasons for it. There is, There was a reason for it. I'm not entirely sure it would be a logical reason. I think it's because we know for a fact that that's not going to change. Then, then, yeah, you can work... When you work back over, you can shift it around. But I don't know. I don't know. The, the, there may be a logical reason. might be a totally illogical reason. Hmm. Nah. Anyway. So. Dispenser, cutting, zipping. So we need double zipping either side. One cutting. Well, sorry, single zipping either side. So. One. Two. And we'll do that. And that. Um, there is probably okay. It is, but I'll move them along just to allow a bit more space for that. There we go. So, that'll be zipping. Cutting. I generally leave a gap for those. And then we'll probably we'll just place two more because we know we're going to need two, and then we'll just have to line these up. That is correct. Yes, you can see it's got like a cowling on the top, and it's not centralised to the machine. Right, that should be okay. Right, so now that we've got that, um, yeah, I guess if I was to turn this round and build it that way. Then I could build it the, f the, f the f forward way. Hmm. Anyway. Um, I guess because you're working from single and then splitting out rather than the other way around. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know why I uh, built it backwards. But we'll check it now. So we'll go for the plastic first. So we'll just check all the outputs. That's going to output plastic block. Heat level 1, yes, and then forming into a plastic fitting. Then it goes into the combiner, as to the splitter, and then we'll combine it later. On the other side of it, we've got fabric sheeting, so we'll say fabric sheet on both of these. Obviously, these machines are turned off, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's see, it's going to output... Hang on, why is there loads of... Cam oh, there's camo gloves here. Um, that's just stuff that's uh, in the factory somewhere that you can actually output. It's... Um, yeah, interesting that it's there. Um, so, we've got fabric sheet, fabric sheet, yes. That'll go on the blind to the cutter, which we'll cut. Uh, we are going for the fabric backpack on both of these ones. So, fabric backpack. And then it goes into the uh, the zipping level, uh, zipping machine. So, zipping level one, yes. Then it goes into here and then combines it to produce a combat backpack, which then will get... Um, Sawing level 2, 1, 2, and then end of line. Yes, and then out the door. Spot on. Right, okay, first things first. Before I turn the machine on, I'm going to go to research. Should really have been researching other things. I will research the shaker. Want to check orders here. So we've got um, orders for all sorts of things. I think we'll go for Jerry. There's another Jerry order, so we'll accept that and pretty much just hand it in straight away because we can and for the um, other ones here um, just trying to check a decent value that's a nice value uh, their name is Major or their code name the alias mm. Mitchy seems alright that order value went up there sure it did Look at that order value, that's cool. But you need uh, you need camo vests and combat trousers. I will accept that one and hand that in. And that's a nice order as well. Five grand and we'll hand that in as well. So there we go. Right, so there's all that handed in. We will now go to line control, add a line. It's going to be... Don't need to call it line. I'm just going to delete. Combat gloves. Combat. Combat glove. 
L1, so line one. Line one. If we have different lines for the for gloves and stuff, then we can change it. So we will add add uh, machine. So working from the back here, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Can't power it on because we don't have enough electricity. I knew there was something I was going to research. <laughs> Uh, although I think we do own... No, we don't own more utilities. Okay, so we're going to have to get that then in research, uh, power, and... Oh, and this one as well. Cool. So I guess we're just going to work through and do the other stuff while we crack on with that. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem. Hopefully that line is all correct and working. I mean, we could always turn off the combat gloves one. Uh, new orders available. Let's have a quick look there. So we want ones that are for combat backpacks. There's camo vests. Combat trousers. Combat backpack and camo gloves. Um, camo vest. Yeah, so this is the only one we can accept. Well, it's not the only one we can accept. That's not entirely true. It's the only one that we can fulfill. Because we can't make the rest. Um, that's a cheeky order there. 40. I'll just... Yeah. No, I'll just might as well hand that over. Uh, reputation with uh, Michi has gone up. That's fine. So we have to think about the trousers and the camo vests. Hmm. So you see that's got a green tick in there to say that we do have, have enough. Hmm. I mean, I can I can say no, I don't want these certain ones. So like the combat trials, I'm going to say no, but then you, the reputation goes down. Which isn't too much of a problem. Um, we're going to get new orders soon anyway. So the waste shake has been researched. We will start going for utilities. We've got 97 research points, so I'm going to bring that down even further. To seven a day. Just because we've got so much to make. I just don't want to spend money. I mean, I've got 70 grand. I'm, I don't know what my finance is. Uh, bankruptcy threshold is minus 75,000. Okay. Um, in terms of factory output, how many have we produced? Um, doesn't say in total or manufactured products. It will do though. Yes, there we go. We've produced a total of 1,078 pairs of camo gloves and we sold 920 of it. Revenue is only 18 grand though, so it's not even worth the machines really. It's we're really having to go for them combined, uh, combined, um, combined orders and stuff. Speaking of new orders, uh, or speaking of orders, we've got some new ones. There's a camo vest. Camo vest, camo vest, gloves. Backpack, shoes, there's loads of stuff that we just, it's, it's all, all asking for vests, which is a problem. Um, have we got a new one? Oh, there's Jerry, he wants cam camo vests. We just want to start handing, doing gloves, really. There's a nice order of 300 for shiny. Be a Firefly fan. Well, there's going to be one or two out there. Right, so that's getting researched, yes. Then we have to go for um, power utility level one. Unlocks power lane generator. Power lane? Power generator. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to check while we're here, while that's researching, the sort of things we need to make, say, 9 mil. So for 9 mil, you need a heating machine level 1, which we have. We need a cooling machine, which is there, which would require um, 30 research points. You then need a chemical dryer, which is there. Unlocks chemical chemicals dryer, but you also need chemical mixer and chemical dispenser. But you don't use it there, as far as I can tell. Because you need a chemical dryer and a bullet boxer, which is there. Um, do you have to go through all of that? Pre-required pre research is bullet topper. And then that, yeah. So you, you do, you do. You need all of that. Wow, okay. That's, yeah, that's a task and a half. 
So basically you need the lot. <laughs> okay. There really needs to be a way to research multiple things at once. Yeah, you can't. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, so, we'll go for... Uh, we'll check the orders here. There's our camo gloves. Just come in there. So, that's six grand. So, we are... We are making money, I believe. We started off with about 70 grand, it was. Um, but look at the buy price of these now. That's the problem. The, the price is going... It's fluctuating all the time. I'm not going to buy these right now, because I'm hoping that's going to go down. But it's trending upwards for the fabric sheet and trending down for the plastic block. So, if that goes to, say... I don't know, a sub four dollars a unit then then we'll go for it but at the moment it's yeah it's it's five for that or not um five and six so we'll see what happens there orders i wonder if there's a new order there will be new orders available now it's all for camo vests which is the worst part because we're not making well we're not making come up backpacks actually but still See, he wants a camo vest. What would it take to make camo vests? Let's have a look. Camo vest. Fabric. Fabric vest. Sipping level 1. Quite frankly, this machine can do it. Actually. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. It is. It really is. Fabric. Fabric. Um, instead of cutting that. Oh, by the way, this requires three fabric sheets. I forgot about that, so this will be a bit slower. Um... If we just said fabric vest and fabric vest, then sewing level one, sorry, zipping level one, zipping level one, yes, and then plastic block, yes, heat level one, and then forming, and then that's combat backpack, we can change that to camo vest. And camo vest. I need two plastic fittings for that. So this here will be not entirely as inefficient as I thought. Because this takes, because this requires three fabric sheets, I thought this can be really slow, but these actually take two plastic fittings as well, whereas these only take the one. So, yeah, that's going to be. Not entirely a one-to-one -one ratio, but it's it's not too bad. We'll be outputting... We'll still be outputting more fa uh, plastic fittings. If we put another dispenser here, it might work. It might work. Uh, power utility level 1 has now been completed. So I will go for utilities and power. And we can place some electrical boxes in here. There we go. And what I'm going to do, go to line control. That's not even called become a backpack. It's just going to be called come a backpack slash. Um, is it? It's not armor, is it though? It's a uh, uh, vest. Vest. So we cannot uh, best <laughs> best vest. Uh, vest. So that should that yeah that can change right power on let's see if this works. So that's gonna be outputting that. Yep, yeah, requiring three fabric sheets each. Yes, yes. The backpack comes out the door, gets zipped up, and yep, yeah, that's working. And is that gonna produce the back the? Uh, Camel vest? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. So, what I'll do, I want to make this a little bit more efficient, and it's not a terribly difficult task to do. It's two belts, and two dispensers, and then we place them like so. Again, maintenance on this machine is going to be a nightmare. And we output on these um, fabric sheeting. Like that. We will go to the line control. Oh, add that and that, and just power them back on. Because now we're getting a lot more fabric sheets into that machine, so we should be outputting them, and that should should be about right. Um, 
Okay, happy with that. That's good. Um, we're going to go over to research because we're not researching anything. And I want to go for almost certainly... Do I really want to research that? Do I really want to research that? I need this core level, so I'll start researching that. It's only one day. So there's the... There's that coming off the line, getting stored. That's excellent. Just double check. Yeah, obviously there's still plastic fittings getting built up. Uh, definitely what we need to buy, though, is uh, some more of these. Oh, buy price is really low. Let's spend 12 grand on that. This, sadly, is not the case. There we are. And that should be producing now again. I think it is. I think it is. Um, one thing that we do have in our storage. We have five combat camo gloves. And I think they're just something that's came off the line. Like, got stored somewhere. Probably when we turned the line off. We could put a dispenser somewhere and dispense it back on the line. But quite frankly, it's too much of a task for just five of them. That's why it's important, I think, to use the line control, because it gives you fa uh, f infinite con well, basically a full on and off whack the entire line, and then it doesn't just overproduce loads of something, and then becomes a massive problem. Right, so we can check orders, and as you can see, we are uh, not producing any combat backpacks anymore, but we're doing gloves. Uh, but we do have camo vests on the go as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll switch this over to combat backpacks. Actually, we'll produce probably... Um, Camo vests. That's the major. No, no, no trousers. Um, that's a good one there for Jerry. That's a good one to accept, I think. Uh, there's some more camo gloves. I'll accept the camo gloves because we just got an abundance of them. You see. There we go. And there we are. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to do the camo vests, get them made, and then we'll probably move over to this one because we've got a lot of time for that to be fulfilled with Michi and we'll switch this over ideally I would want another line making one of each is it going to happen? not with that money not with that money so we'll leave it there next episode we will um, continue on probably go for combat trousers um, because I don't think they're too difficult to make um, oh they're easy look at that fabric sheet combat trousers sewing bam 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 yeah we can put it here we can put this line down the side oh that's easy so we'll do that definitely yeah sorted. Right, there we go. There's the plan of attack. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.